welcome back to Stasis Geek. Now, this isn't a full recommendation. It's not one of my TV recommendations. This is, go and check it out. It ain't half bad. Now, this is The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, of course, the spin-off to The Walking Dead. Now, a lot of people said, oh, you know, ugh. and I can understand that because the last few seasons of The Walking Dead made you go, oh, mm, yeah. but this ain't half bad. It isn't great, but it is actually a fun ride. At the moment, I'm three episodes in, and I'm going to give it a strong seven to eight. It's actually really enjoyable. Now, spoilers, if you don't know anything about it, it's set in France. <laughs> yeah, I think the uh, pictures and the posters might have given it away with the Eiffel Tower in the background. But what is annoying about this, off the bat, is... They don't tell us how and why he's over there. All we get is we know he got on a ship and then went and then from United States to Europe, ended up in France. Okay. The problem is with that, it's logic brain comes in. Why would anybody use that fuel from France, let's say they're based in France, and then go to America? Why would you need to do that? What resources? So they need to explain that there is some resource there or here that you need to do backtracks. You know, you need to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because you ain't going to use, like, expand that fuel. You know, you're wasting fuel that could be used for, you know, humanity. You know, for your own resources, to do your own gathering where you're based. So it's very confusing that. And all we get is... He met up with some bad people. They put him on a ship and it went wrong. And you keep on getting told that. Now, there is a baddie in it. And you think she might be the leader of the ship. We're not too sure. It's kind of paid out by that. But, okay, putting that aside, your logic brain. The actual story is very simple. Daryl is in France and he wants to get home. But when he's doing it, he needs to protect a child. Yeah? Of course, the child is with a group of nuns, and then the nuns kind too, and then they kind of want to get to Paris. So he needs to make that journey. Now, I don't know where they're really stationed at the start, but I think they're kind of middle territory of uh, France. And then they get to Paris quite quickly. Okay, but the journey and the interaction is quite good. There are really silly bits that they do. You're like, oh, they just did that to do that. But it's zombie fun. Yeah, so I can live with it. You're like, ah, oh, that's actually just a bit of fun. They just put it in because zombies are zombies. You know, it's quite funny. But the best thing about this is there's something different than, I suppose you're going to call it the United States dead <laughs> to Paris or France dead, is they have these burners. That's the only way I can explain it. Is if, um, it looks like if the zombies go out in the sun, they start to like bubble, kind of, like that, like sizzle, like they've got like, their skin is not melting them, but the skin is made of acid. So if you touch them, you start to burn. And that's straight away in episode one. And then you get it later on. So it's quite cool that, that you can't, you know, attack all them or conventionally that we've seen in The Walking Dead. It's slightly different. But after three episodes, I wouldn't say, oh, it's a hook. It's going. It's a good development. It's a good development. Now, I don't like... Shows getting called after the name because you know nothing is going to happen to Daryl. <laughs> it's like that. Unless they later on kill him off. But, you know, he's safe. So it's about that journey with the kid and the nuns and everything like that. And then their journey getting through up north in the France. I think they're trying to get to the coast, you know, wherever. You know, but they're in Paris at the moment. I'm in the Paris bit. So it's cool. And then you get that. They, you know, it's good. And bad that you have to read subtitles. And I mean that's good that you have to read subtitles. The bad bit is they now cross it over with this English. You know, they have the French language then get substituted quite quickly. That everybody just wants to speak English. You know, and it's kind of... They even do like this broken French with English in it. I'm like, no, if you're in France, they're going to speak French. You know, they're not going to... Like, if you know your history, you're not going to have... Like, oh, sorry. it. Whilst we're in our own country, we're going to speak English. It isn't going to happen. So that's it. So there's a bit of uh, niggly bits you have to go logic. But the actual story, I'm actually liking. Because it's nice, simple, kind of get to A to B 
bit of fun and a bit of zombies. There are other, other little bits on it. You like how would they, you know, because you know the time scale of when he would be there is there's like resources that you think would burn out after like I suppose like ten years, and they've still got it. So it's kind of annoying there. Uh, there's one tick box. Move on. Yeah, that's fine. But apart from that, kind of liking it. So it's a go and check it out. We're gonna have to wait and see. I don't. I can't remember how many episodes it is. But I think it's like 12 or something. Let's have a look. Uh, not a short episode season, but I'm sure they've got to, must have got um, signed off for season two. There's six episodes, so it's very short. But so far, liking it, liking it. So, going to watch episode four tonight. And hopefully, go. So, I'm midway. It's fun. If you like The Walking Dead, if you, this reminds me of probably season three to four. Yeah, it's kind of got that vibe, let's say, that of The Walking Dead. Yeah, so go and enjoy it. It's a bit zombie, Daryl Dixon doing his thing, but not doing his thing, I suppose, because some of the skills that he's he's got, he loses quite quickly. It may dumb him down a little bit. Don't know why. It goes in there trying to say that he's in a different land, so he can't use his tracking skills and other skills. Don't know. But logic, move on. That's it. But yeah, go and check it out. A lot of people have been saying, can't be bothered. It's at the moment, it's half a recommendation because I'm halfway through the season. But yeah, give us your comments if you've seen it and if you like it or you've seen it and you hate it or your logic brain goes, I just want to know how he got on this ship. Because <laughs> that, I'm guessing they're going to do it for the cliffhanger on the end, but we'll find out. But yeah, give us a like if you want to like. And as always, Stasis Geek out.